Hey, how's it going, everybody? Tyler Martin here at VamaCentral.com, and I uh, wanted to talk about the elite talent that's going to be in Tuscaloosa this weekend. After trips to Georgia and uh, Texas over the last two consecutive weekends, Alabama will get another crack uh, at 2023 five-star quarterback Arch Manning on campus on Saturday. It's going to be his uh, third visit to Tuscaloosa during his recruitment and the first since the Ole Miss game of last October. Could Alabama begin to separate itself from the pack in Manning's eyes this weekend? That remains to be seen, but the Crimson Tide appears to be lagging behind the Longhorns in the race to land the NFL legacy, but it could, be a, it could prove to be a pivotal visit um, uh, for Manning in his camp. Alabama's also in the running for Eli Holstein, who has made two trips to Tuscaloosa in, over the last month after uh, decommitting uh, from Texas A&M. Uh, so those two guys, Eli Holstein, Arch Manning, appear to be the top two targets. But there's actually going to be a third quarterback on campus in Dylan Longergan uh, from Snellville, Georgia this weekend, a dual sport athlete uh, out, of, out of the Peach State. Uh, you know, he's got a fastball that can hit in the 90s on the diamond. He's also um, a great quarterback as well on the gridiron. Um, so those are three names to really watch. Two of them will be in town this weekend. Five-star defensive lineman Jaden Wayne from the West Coast. Uh, this will be his third trip to Tuscaloosa. He's told Bama Central numerous times, hey, Alabama's the top team for me. The development, Nick Saban, those are the reasons why uh, the Crimson Tide are up there. How about Hunter Osborne, the, the uh, Hewitt Trussell defensive lineman? He was in town on Thursday. Uh, you've got Caleb Downs, a defensive back, who has really seen his relationship with Alabama grow uh, since he was offered uh, a little over a year and a half ago. Hakeem Williams, we mentioned him last week when we were talking about 2023 uh, recruiting targets for Alabama at the wide receiver position. Uh, would it be an Alabama recruiting class without some South Florida flavor? Um, so those are just some of the few guys who are going to be in Tuscaloosa over the weekend. Thank you guys for watching.